Yeah, hello all. Welcome back. In today's session, we are going to deal about some other sales argument types. So till yesterday, we have gone through the standard order and the return order, rush order, returns also, right? Yeah. And today we are going to deal about the credit memo request. Okay. Okay. So let me open okay. the transaction VA01. Mm. Here, let me create one standard order. What is our sales arc? M. M100, M100, right? Our sales area is M100, M1, M1. So let me give our material and the and here I'm giving the quantity as 50. Mm, okay. So let me save it now. Mm, save. Yeah, and let me do the delivery. What is our shipping point? M three hundred, I think. Where the stock is available? Yeah, M one hundred. No schedule lines. So let me change the schedule lines here. So here the quantity is fifty, and I'm just going to do PGI. And in which concept we use PGR, post goods receipt? A return process. Yes, in the return process. Okay, the delivery was saved. So let me create one invoice. So I just have saved the invoice. This is the invoice number nine double zero three six two six four. Okay. So now we are going to create credit memo request. Hmm. So before that, we have to know what exactly the credit memo request is and in which scenarios we will use it, right? Okay. If we want to deduct some amount from the customer's outstanding without okay. any physical movement of the good, then we will go for the credit memo process. We mainly go for the credit memo process in the scenarios of if user mistakenly overcharged the previous invoice. For example, here the customer has invoiced with 5000 rupees right okay and if the company feels that the customer was overcharged the original charge is 4500 rupees but he was overcharged as 5000 so in this case the company will raise a credit memo to the customer Okay. 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 In the same way, goods are totally damaged uh -huh. and which are not in a position to take back. Uh -huh. What it means is the company has delivered some goods to the customer. Uh -huh. Okay. And okay. the goods are in damage, then the, then the customer don't want those goods. So the company will take back the goods, right? Mm -hmm. In the same way, the company will raise the credit memo, means the company will give the amount to customer back. Mm -hmm. But here, if the, if the goods are not in a position to take back also, for example, we have sent some glass material to the customer. Mm -hmm. It was damaged in transit. Mm -hmm. Then if company tries to take back also it's waste of company's money because even if the company get the material back they cannot sell or they cannot mm -hmm. make any changes to the material mm -hmm. 
So in this case also, what the company will do? The company will raise the credit memo to the customer without taking the goods. Okay. In the same way, rebate settlement. I think you know about the concept of rebates, uh, rebates, right? In our previous classes, we have discussed. It is a special yeah. kind of discount. Conditional is. Yeah, it's it a conditional. Is a conditional, conditional uh, it's valid for a specific, specific period, period of time. Period. Yes. So, what it means is that customer, if customer purchase one lakh uh, worth of material, then we will do a, then we will give a discount worth of. 1000 rupees or 10000 rupees to the customer okay. if, if customer reaches to 1 lakh if customer's purchase reaches to 1 lakh then we will give 10000 as a discount in this year okay so the customer has reached the limit then what what the company will do the company will give the dip, uh, what is this uh, discount to the customer in the form of Rebate. Rebate. That's what will be done through credit memo. Mm. Okay, are you clear? Okay. In the same way, secondary sales discounts. So dealer from distributors. So the secondary sales will happen, right? So if the discount has to be given in the secondary sales, then also we will use the concept of credit memo. Mm. Okay. So let me create one credit memo. We create the credit memo with a reference to invoice. Oh, this is the previous invoice, right? Mm. So we use the credit memo. Means we used to create the credit memo with a reference to the previous invoice. Mm -hmm. And what is the transaction to create the credit memo? VA0. Yes, VA01. And what is the other type? CR. 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 And when we get this message, what we have to do? OVAZ. Yes, we have to go through the transaction. OVAZ. And here, in the new entries, we have to give our sales area and the document type. Okay. So let me go to VAZ1 again. Here, what we have to do? We have to create it with the reference to the invoice. So I just okay. click on create with the reference and here I am going to give the billing document number. See, inquiry, quotation, order, contract, scheduling agreement, billing document. So I am giving the billing document reference to create the credit memo request. Okay. So let me copy. Did we get it? Mm. So here, in the credit memo request, what we have to do is, we have to maintain the order reason. Okay. okay? Mm. Then, here we can see, billing doc, right? Mm. So credit memo request will be automatically blocked for billing. Then the authorized person has to so, go through it and they have to remove the billing block. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So in case of overcharge, as we have seen, the 5000, it was overcharge, actual quantity, actual amount is 4500 only, right? Mm. So in case of overcharge, what we have to do is, we have to go to go through the conditions tab and we have to change the value. So let me go through the conditions tab here and we have to change the value. So here we can change the amount. So it is, uh, for example, so it became 4500 mm. actually that's okay. what we thought right as mm. the, the initial uh, what is this amount is uh, 4500 but what we have done we have raised the invoice for 5000 budget okay now how much amount we have to give to the customer 
Previously, the invoice was created for 5000, mm. but actually it has to be get created for 4500. Mm. Then the surplus amount of 500 has to be credited to the customer. So I am giving here 5. So now, sorry. So now this 500 rupees will be credited to the customer. Mm. Okay. Okay. Are you clear? Clear. Uh, clear, sir. Clear. Yeah, okay then. Mm. So here what what will happen? The authorized person has to go through the what is this? Billing block and he will release yes. the billing block. Mm. Okay, okay. So let me save it. So the credit memo request got saved here. So then what we have to do? We have to do the billing. Invoice. Invoice. And the invoice is going to be created for 500 rupees. It was, which was excess. Okay, okay. So let me save it now. So now it got created. Okay. So here, when we create the credit memo invoice, system generates accounting and accounting document mm. okay. and the accounting entry is revenue okay. account debit to customer account credit okay, okay. so this is about the credit memo okay. so let, let us create the credit memo process if the goods are totally damaged here we have created the credit memo for excess amount, right? Mm. So now let us create the credit memo if the goods are totally damaged. Mm. So whenever the customer finds the goods are totally damaged, mm. then the customer will inform it to the company. Then the company will send the company's employee, nothing but other is also from here, to the customer place to cross check the goods. After cross checking the goods, the employee will prepare a credit note. In the written process, what the employee will prepare? Written note, right? Oh, yes, yes. Written but here, note. the employee will prepare credit note. What the credit note consists of? It consists of invoice number, invoice date, customer number, item number, material, quantity, reason, employee signature, customer signature, all these things. So after preparing the credit note, then the employee will submit it to the company. Then the end users will create a credit memo request with the reference to the invoice. Mm -hmm. So I think you are clear with it. Mm -hmm. Clear. So now let us create. So what is the transaction we used to create? BA01. Zero one. Zero. So before that let me create one order. So for example, the quantity is 20. Okay. And the amount is 2000 rupees. Okay. So here we have to we have to give the picking quantity as 20. And the batch is this one. So let me do the post codes. So delivery got saved. 
Now, let me create the envelope. Okay, now the invoice also got say all right. Okay. And the invoice number is this one. So let me take this number. So here what we are going to create now? Credit memo. Because I have created the order because I would like to take it as a reference to create the credit memo. Okay. So here we are creating the credit memo. With the reference to the invoice, right? So let me give the invoice. Yeah. So what is the quantity for which we have created the invoice? It's for 20 quantity. Mm -hmm. And the value is 2000 here. Okay. And what we are going to do now? As the goods are totally damaged, we have to create yeah. the credit memo for the full quantity. Mm. So in this process, what we have to do, we will give the other reason. Damage in transit. Okay. And we will give the, actually the credit block, sorry, the billing block will be automatically assigned here in the credit memo process. Okay. So we save it. So let us make some changes. So we have to remove this block, right? And here, in the conditions tab, what we have to do? We have to change the... No, we need not to change anything because we would like to give 2000 as the credit to the customer. Credit to the customer. Okay. So we are not modifying. Because here we are uh, creating the credit memo for the full quantity, the full amount. Okay. So what we have to do now? We have to create billing. So here, let me save it. Now see the credit memo got sorry the the billing document got created. And if we go to the transaction BF02. Where we can means nothing but the change mode of the invoice, we can see that the invoice was created for the quantity of 20 and for the amount of 2000, nothing but the full amount. So, which will be direct from the customer's outstanding. Here, the accounting document will get generated, and the accounting entry is what is that? Entry? Revenue account debit to. Customer account credit. Credit, yeah. Okay. So this is about the credit memo. 